Hi, my name is Valentino Conti and I'm the race engineer of Alexander Sims in the BMW i and Ready Motorsport team. We are in the simulator here because uh, Formula E, without a simulator, there is no chance to be prepared enough for race weekend. So it's an important thing to have and uh, it's important that we have our own because we have all access to it and we can modify as we need and as we like on short notice as well. So yeah, it's a crucial tool for us. Formula E is so different because during weekend you have no time and you also have to focus on qualifying there as well. So it's important that before you come to the racetrack you already have an idea and you have already done some scenarios on the simulator. We uh, simulating issues on the car, simulating issues in the race, focus yellow situations, so that we are prepared in case um, it happens on the real track. We're going to new circuits all the time. Uh, they're street circuits, so there's no room for error on the race weekend uh, to explore the limits, and you need to do that in a simulator beforehand so that when you arrive at the race weekend, you, you have a picture of how you're going to drive, how you're going to attack the lap. The biggest thing that we can use a simulator for is for our energy management and, and for us to get our software and our way to be efficient as close as possible to, to being perfect. And that will make my life a lot easier on when we start the race because, as you said, everything is in one day, so we don't have a lot of time during the day to prepare that. When we go down to the fine details like that, you know, if, uh, if the, if the tarmac changes from uh, turn two to turn six, you know, different tarmacs like that, we can replicate all that in a simulator. So we, we can replicate having more grip in one corner and less grip on the other corner. In terms of the bumps, it all depends if the, if the tracks are laser scanned. And if you laser scan them, you, you get exactly the bumps where they are on real life, you get them here in the simulator. There is difference, sometimes more, sometimes less. I mean, it's clearly depending. A new track most of the times gives us a lot of, let's say, surprises when we are actually there. But we also do some researches uh, in beforehand how the, the surface will be. We use tools to get an idea how it might look. But clearly, yeah, when you come there, there's always small differences, which we then after the event, try to adapt into the model so that we are better for the next time we come there. That is clearly our target.